Well, I've set myself um, a goal, and it's more of a goal rather than something that's necessarily going to be easy to achieve. I'm, I'm really just going to have a go of trying to make a sixth Olympics, but I'm definitely not complacent about it. I know it's a big ask, but I think it's worth a try, and I think it's a realistic goal, but obviously I have to try not to get injured along the way, and there's so many talented girls in the UK, and I'm totally aware of that. So I'm just going to give it a go. I think it's fun to try, and if I don't achieve things I'm trying to achieve, I'm just going to have fun, try my best and just enjoy my running, so I just love running, that's why I'm doing it really. How have the last few months been for you? Um, was there a target of a great self run that maybe didn't go to Yeah, that, that was um, really, really gutting actually, because I, that was sort of a really big disappointment, because I really put all my efforts into training for it, and I was down the track literally six days before the race and I injured my foot but I wasn't even worried about my foot when I went to the track it was something I really didn't expect to happen and then I couldn't warm down and then up until the day of the race I was still thinking could I run so I couldn't quite believe that I wasn't going to run it because I could have just missed that last session but when things have gone well you want to do like the icing on the cake sessions and I could have just missed that so I felt like I'd made quite a bad decision in that session to to do it but I was quite even laid back when I could warm down I thought I'll be right in a couple of days but I just couldn't run it I mean the only positive thing I know it's not all about training but the track sessions I was doing gave me a little bit of hope that I could still be competitive on the track because they were sort of really getting to where I need them to be but I know it's not all about training I don't say that but it just gave me a personal bit of information that it could be realistic to be competitive but I, I just love setting goals and love trying to achieve them and so I was getting over that injury and now I'm just building up again. I'm not at full fitness by any stretch at the moment but I'm just working on it day by day at the moment. I'd like to probably do some road racing but I've always in the past, even when I was a lot younger, if I'm doing track I'd really have to focus on that and at least when you're old you get a lot of experience and I kind of know what sessions I have to try and hit and I'll have to make sure I don't do anything that's distracting from that. Like if I did a really long road race, it would then take up that chunk of time where I'm not specialising in trying to get my track reps where they need to be. So I'll see how it goes. I think it's helpful to do some shorter road racing, so I might try and do that, but I need to get my act together on the track and I enjoy that. I love going to the track and just going for it and see if I can get around the laps in the times that I should be. I really enjoy that side of running as well as obviously going out running in beautiful locations and going out you know as a family to beautiful locations i love all the different aspects of running that's what keeps me going